All right, everybody. My name is Beatrice, and uh, thank you for coming to our latest book club meeting. Today we will be discussing our latest reading, A Disgrace, by J.M. Coetzee. Bob, would you like to start? Something I found very interesting in my latest reading of Disgrace was how both David and Melanie come to the same conclusion in their stories about David's rape, that David is guilty. But I find it rather interesting that they both have very different details in their stories. Bob, respectfully, I disagree. Clearly, one of either David or Melanie is lying. There is only one truth, and surely the details of the rape are being bended by either one or both of them. In addition, why wouldn't you think that Lucy would remember something as traumatic as her own rape? I guess you're right, Linus. Is he dead? Yes, sir. Well, then who killed him? Linus, are you okay? It was Bob. I saw him do it. He murdered him. Linus, stop creating false narratives about me. Call 911. No! So, Bob, we're here today today to determine whether or not you are guilty of murder. Like our witnesses have said, or not, would you like to state your case? Sir, my client is not guilty of this crime. Although he was in the room with the two, two witnesses here today, it was impossible for one of them to have seen the murder as the lights were turned off in the room at the time. That's not true. I saw him. He killed him. Linus, please calm down. Linus, have you read the novel Atonement by Ian McEwen? What story there's a woman named Lola who is raped, and her sister, Bryony, falsely accuses somebody of her rape. She continues to force this false narrative until eventually this man goes to prison. One of the reasons that she continuously forces this narrative is because her memory is failing her, as it does all people, but even though it is failing her, she is still extremely confident in her narrative. In Malcolm Gladwell's podcast, Revisionist History, he touches upon this subject while arguing that Brian Williams Brian Williams is lying about his trip to Iraq was not his fault. He concludes that not only do we lose our memories or mix the, up the details, but we also remain very confident in these false memories, especially traumatic memories, which is why I think you are so confident in your ac accusations against Bob. Wow. What a great argument. I hereby clear Bob 